Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to quickly show you guys how you can transition video clips in pretty much the easiest way possible in DaVinci Resolve. So obviously in the effects library you can drag in video transitions as a way to go between clips. On the timeline you have access to some tools which are even faster to set up and use and will be good for most circumstances. So first off, if you want to fade a clip from black or to black at any point in time during your timeline, then you can click on a video clip and go to the edge of that video clip, such as up here in the top left hand corner, where you'll see a little white tab. So you can pull this out in order to set up a transition. It will tell you how many seconds and followed that by frames the transition is going to be. And then when you go find that transition in the timeline and play it back, you should have a fade from or to black. You may have noticed, but I actually use this trick all the time when I'm editing my DaVinci Resolve tutorials in DaVinci Resolve. So it's really handy to use. And of course, likewise, you can actually do it between clips as well. So you can drag the fade out on one side and then drag the fade in on the other side. And by having those two points set, you can have a fade to and from black between the two clips or a dip to color. Another quick transition that we can add to our video clips solely with the timeline is a cross dissolve. Now before we add this in, if you have linked audio tracks to the clips that you are trying to add the cross dissolve to, those will automatically receive a cross fade as well, which is fading between audio clips. If you don't want that to occur, you can right click on your video clip that has a linked audio clip, symbolized by this little link symbol down here below, and uncheck the linked clips. So now when you left click on a video track, it's not going to be linked with the audio track temporarily. And we can right click on the border between our video clips and add in a cross dissolve. So you can determine how many frames you want that to be. If you're working with 30 frames per second, then a 30 frame cross dissolve would be one second. And that'll give us a simple fade between the two video clips where one clip will fade out as the other will fade in in terms of its uh, visible opacity. Now, if you want, before you add in the cross dissolve using this method, if you want the cross fade to be there for the audio clip too, so that one audio clip fades out and another one fades in, then just leave your audio and video clips linked together. And if you want your audio and video clip to be linked together again, so that if you move it around the timeline, they get moved together, like it probably should in most cases, then you can hold control down and select the tracks that you want to link together and then right click and choose link clips there at the bottom. And now they're linked again. So of course this cross dissolve that we've added is the same essentially that you would find in the effects library under video transitions and cross dissolve. But the advantage of using solely the timeline to add in these transitions I've mentioned in the video is that it is a little bit faster to work with. So if you happen to make a bunch of cuts and at some point in time you wanna add transitions between them, you can just right click, add a transition, right click, add a transition, right click, add a transition. And it's as simple as that. No need for dragging and dropping and finding the place on the timeline where it's supposed to go. So hopefully while you're editing your videos, this tutorial helps you guys out just a little bit. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future DaVinci Resolve content.